Welcome to part two of the Q&A. Y'all, April to Hawk so much that we just gotta break it up into two parts. Okay, where do you hope to be in the next five years? How old I'll be in five years? How old? <laughs> old. <laughs> <laughs> because we're 20 years apart. So she's saying and old, a, oh my God. In five years, y'all, I'll be 36. Hopefully I at least have one child by that time. Um, cherish your love. Um, I at least want a, my own venue. Okay. Yeah. I can do that in five years. Yes. Yeah. Um, if YouTube is still around, hopefully like YouTube is like my secondary income. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, honestly, that's all that I kind of want in five years. Are you rich? <laughs> Am I what? Why? <laughs> are, you, are you rich? I am rich. I'm very rich, actually. And we want to be honest. I live a very rich lifestyle. <laughs> no, I have a... No, I think being rich, for that question to be asked, you don't think a millionaire is, is necessary being rich. Correct. Yeah, for you to ask me that question, am I rich? Clearly, you don't see me living a millionaire lifestyle. So having a million dollars is not rich to you, which it shouldn't be. You shouldn't think in life like, oh, I need a million dollars to be rich. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'm, I'm very rich because I have a very rich mindset as far as I think that family and, um, and memories is what makes you have an abundant life in my personal opinion so that makes me rich i don't spend money i just don't blow money on different things like i don't waste money on alcohol or like food really wouldn't know that but really wouldn't know what watching your videos that i waste money that you don't waste money on food and oh but but I, yeah, but I don't, yeah, because we're not, because Michael and I, we're not going to go out and spend a hundred dollars on a meal. That's, that's not what we choose to, to spend our money. Mm -hmm. But also it does help that Michael is very cheap. So, yes, he <laughs> and he admits it. So, yeah. So yeah, he likes to save his money and just like, you know, watch it, watch it grow. Me, I'm just like, oh, but we need, we need this, we need that. But also when it comes to like shopping and um and spending money i'm always going to try to find the best deal i'm not going to just spend my money on designer things because for what for why you know exactly if you, you know if you want to buy me that okay cool i appreciate it um but i'm not at the point in life where i i want to throw my money away like that there's tons of other things i can i can spend it on would you say that mindset came from growing up? Oh, here she go. Because growing up, she could have had anything she wanted. Okay, if you want to say that, yes, we were rich until I was like eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as far as like what she's referring to, as far as like having whatever I want, doing all the activities I want, Yes, up until I was eight. <laughs> then from eight until I became an adult, yeah, it was a struggle. So as far as like, I definitely know how it is to have money and I definitely know how it is to not to have money. So I know there's certain situations that I don't want to put myself in because I don't want to experience what I've already been through. There's no need to go, go backwards. So a life lesson learned. Everyone, make sure you have and you can say that you had a life lesson and you learned from it. Because if you can't say that, yeah. you're mm -hmm. still living I mean, yeah, life. I didn't. But yes, am I rich? Yes, I have a very rich mindset. Am I at the goal that I want to be financially? No, I'm not even close, but. You'll get there. Yeah. With that mindset. 
And on that, there's another question. If money is no object, okay, what's the first thing you would buy and why? Guess what I would buy? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. A mansion. House. Why do you think that? Because you love a home. When I say a mansion that I'm going to buy, no taxes, no nothing, is because I want a big enough space to where all my family members are comfortable. So it's not just April and her her side. It's gonna be my dad and his side, or like my other dad and his side. So it's like I want like all family to be able to come stay comfortably and have a good time and no stress. Aww. That's that's what I would do. And that wasn't rehearsed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that that's that is rehearsed. what I would do. And lots of family traditions will be made, lots of memories, lots of fights. Gotta have a good fight mm. here and there. So yeah. Has becoming a YouTuber changed your life in some way? Yes. Now, I wouldn't say, I mean, I guess you can say I'm a YouTuber because I definitely create videos. Um, but as far as like being a YouTuber making money, no, I don't, I don't see a dime yet. <laughs> um, it has changed my life in the sense that I feel honestly more fulfilled. I feel like I'm doing something that I always wanted to do and that I should have been doing a long time ago. So it feels great to like finally like go for it, go at it. Um, as far as like my routine, it has changed that aspect of it too, because I constantly think about what can I film? Vlogmas? Oh my gosh, y'all. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't even function because every time, like I'm a type of person, like I move, 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 move. And every time I would get in a groove to move, I'd be like, okay, let me set up a camera. Let me do this. Let me do that. Like you constantly have to think about like recording yourself. So that's annoying in, in a way, but it's also, I mean, it's just part of what I want to be my job. So I gotta, you know, I gotta find ways to make it work. Um, Vlogmas day two, like how that wedding was, how I really had no footage because I was so used to just like me being lost in the moment doing my job. But also I gotta think if I want you to, to be my job as well, well, I'm gonna have two jobs. So how can I manage doing both at the same time? So, no, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I need you guys help for that. I need a thousand subscribers. I need 4,000 watch hours within a year for that to happen. And then, hey. That's gonna be the goal. That's the goal. 2021. And I'm not selfish either. Like I give I give giveaways and I'm, I have a giveaway for you sitting up there that she tried to take. Wanna know what it is? Let's get- smell good. Let's get to 200 subscribers. And we'll give it away. Actually, I will buy two to give away two two winners. I like giving away two. I feel like one person shouldn't just win. Well, how about this goal? 2021. 2021 subscribers. There it is. I can't do it without you. Help me. <laughs> Help me. I I am putting out premium content, people. Help me here. Help me. If there's something you want. I can put out more. I can do more. I can do better. Yes, I know that. And I will. Let her the know. camera quality camera quality can be a lot better. But hey, this is what happens when you're not making any money yet. <laughs> you you gotta start off start off small to work your way up. Can't do it without you. Like and subscribe to this video. <laughs> Everyone can just watch. You have to like and you have to subscribe. Well, Let's if you're, do this. If you already subscribe, you just have to you have to like or leave a comment. I get a lot of comments. <laughs> I get a whole lot of comments through text messages and DMs. You're already on the video. Just <laughs> leave me a comment on the video, please. It's engagement. It's engagement. But I love you leaving me comments in my DMs and my text messages and talking in person. I get they people are excited, but Put those in the comments. Like, are you, are you, well, my question is, are you sh too shy to leave it in the comment because you feel like you don't want people to, to know your thoughts? Because I don't care if you think I look big, small, eating too much, trust me, my family tells me anyways, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. 
Like, they do it enough. We just need it. As gift you received. Oh. Honestly, I think it, Michael has given me great gifts. Um, I think it had to be like last year when he gave me the GoPro because it was the meaning oh. behind it. It was how he set it up. Oh, I wish I was blogging then because oh, it was so God. perfect. <laughs> um, last year, so Christmas of 2019, leading up to that, like I just wanted Christmas to be over because I was throwing a New Year's Eve party for my birthday because I was turning 30. So I just needed everything that's to be done. That that's all that, that all that's all that mattered. I had people's coming over to the house. The house seemed to have no Christmas decorations. I didn't want any Christmas decorations, part of the decorations for the party. But I was getting so many packages coming in, like from Amazon, it was packages left and right, left and right. And so um, Michael, he goes, goes with his family on like Christmas Eve and Christmas morning. So he was getting ready to go to Memphis. I had to work, so I couldn't go. And so he was like, okay, open up your gift. And so he like, he like sits, the gift, sits me down, gives me the gift and he goes, ah! and I'm like, what? And I'm like, I'm getting so excited. I'm like, oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? And then he's getting excited. He's dancing. He's dancing. And he's like, just open it. Just open it. And so like, he's like undoing the wrapping paper for me. I'm just like, oh my gosh, what is this gift? And then I'll get all teary eyed because he's so excited. So I'm excited because I'm about to cry. Like he's so happy. And then he goes, Merry Christmas. And it's a box of something I ordered already. <laughs> so I just started crying because like the tears from the excitement of him being excited, of me being excited, and then just looking at the box of something that I ordered already for my party. <laughs> he didn't pay for it, I paid for it. Was just like, what? <laughs> and I just started crying. And then he was like, what's wrong? He was like, no, keep opening it. And I'm like, but this is my invitation. <laughs> Like, these are my invitations. I just kept crying. And then he's like screaming again, no, open it, open it. And then inside that box was my GoPro. He wanted to make sure I had no excuse of starting 2020 not vlogging. So that's why the Jamaica vlog is my first video because that was my birthday trip. My birthday's January 4th. And I had the GoPro for my Christmas gift from Michael because he wanted to make sure that I pursued YouTube in 2020. How sweet is Isn't that? Isn't that sweet? So, ah! sweet. <laughs> Wish we had that recorded because if y'all would have seen how like goofy, <laughs> like he was acting, like I wish, honestly, I wish I could show you and explain how goofy he is and like, but I, I can't capture it. If you he watch, catches the, if you pay, if they pay attention to the videos, they can see it because some of the videos I literally, when I need a laugh, I'll go back to him and I'm cracking up. And then I'll tell her and she's like, what, what part? And I'm like, remember when he did this? With the well, way I know all and parts. She's like, what about the snake? There's a little, there's just like a little clip. And I mean, Wait, like- I am in the videos. <laughs> like he's doing it and she doesn't think it's funny. I, that's why I recorded it because he's doing but it. it. I mean, I'm laughing hysterically when I watch that. I'm I like, just don't laugh the way you laugh. I'm the one who put that in the video. Like, he's so silly. She thinks that she can find anything in these videos. I'm like, I edit the videos. <laughs> like, I know what's in the videos. But what I think is funny, you don't think it's funny all the time. You're like, I, okay, we just do I that. just don't have, like, that type of... That's, oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. And... I'm just going to take a little shot of Godiva. Um, it's strong. Uh, yeah, you didn't taste it. I got a refill. Drink some down. It's too hot to drink. You uh, stop moving. I'm trying to get comfortable. How are you such a confident and strong black woman? And who are your influences? Mm. And I'm not making these up. They know that, <laughs> um, especially the person who asked the question. I'm confident because of April. Uh, well, maybe I should say my mom <laughs> because because of my mother. <laughs> um, but also, I think that that just comes from, like I said earlier, like we did have a, a lot of money until I was like eight. So 
we kind of just had to continue that not we didn't have to continue that lifestyle but we were put in certain situations to where we had to be great <laughs> as far as like we still went to a good school district so now looking back as an adult i'm like oh my gosh you kept me in a school district with all these people who had money <laughs> you know um and so it just came with um no we didn't have the money that we used to have so you know what what set us apart from the rest so therefore we weren't gonna act up in class she wasn't gonna ha have that because we we're gonna get whooped when we got home and i didn't want a whooping so that fear <laughs> i guess it's fear yeah i mean it's fear but i mean yeah. we, we were always well behaved anyways like my sisters and i um we were always really good at school and she didn't have to sit us down and make sure that we did our schoolwork. We did our schoolwork on our own, but that's because we knew that that she wasn't gonna play any games when it, came, when it came to schoolwork. We were always in the classrooms with all the white people, all the white kids. So it was either be myself and another black girl or myself and a black boy, always, always. And so you had to be the best because you were, you were competing with them. So it gave you confidence to be like, I know this answer. I know I know my worth. And it's not that oh we want it to be white. No. We weren't we weren't playing those games, but it was I needed to be the best version of myself so that I could survive in these situations of being with them. That makes sense. How do we keep up with those school districts? We always use my grandparents' address. <laughs> So guess what? We could be in like government housing, <laughs> but we were always zoned at my grandparents' address. Yes. Yes. I mean, and my grandpa set that up. So, you know, he wanted the best for his family. So he, they worked hard. He for the went same. beyond the best. Another thing like with confidence, um, it also just comes like with like a good work ethic as well. And I think that that ties along with like school and like different jobs that we have because like we know we know different situations so um you just gotta put on like put on a face <laughs> and and make it and make it great i don't make your situation the best that it, that you can right i'm always getting she is the best person ever she is so tentative she she taught me and and you know i shadowed her and that makes me feel good that makes me feel good that strangers can approach me and say this about her and yes yeah, she hustles she hustles and she is one takes her job seriously she does not wake up in the morning or in the afternoon to get dressed waste gas to go to work and complain about a job that she doesn't like. Don't like your job. Quit. Quit. <laughs> Quit. Take it till you make it. And that's all you gotta do. Fake it until you make it. But also, what I've learned is that a lot of people are intimidated by my confidence. Yes. And which, that's real. Which hurts my feelings. That's a, yeah. that's a real situation that, that can happen. Which is sad mm. because I never want to make people feel bad by me just being myself. But I did have a manager that told me, he said, it's not, he was saying that it's just something that's really like rare with me. He's like, I'm, my personality is so strong without me saying anything yes. that it makes people like insecure because they feel like they can't shine with me. And I never they want anybody to feel like you cannot shine mm -hmm. with me. Like, that's what I want. <laughs> like, I just want people to stand by shine. me. Like, why not? Like, you know? like why, why are we mad at each other? For another situation mm -hmm. where I, I had people in my house and like, they really like criticized me. 
by how my house looked <laughs> and it's just like you don't like me <laughs> like I didn't do anything to you but literally you know that this table costs $20 that <laughs> that costs 50 you know but you're thinking that I'm so materialistic because of the confidence that I have or how I'm put together so if you find yourself in situations that you're hating on someone because of their confidence stop check yourself because you never know what that person is going through to or get what the, they've been or through. what they've been through mm -hmm. to get them to where they where they are now because I mean if you haven't noticed by now I don't hide anything like I said we used to have money we didn't have money like you know we live in government housing but you know we went to a great school di district you would never know those things never because some people think okay oh. well you're struggling you got me worked mm -hmm. up right <laughs> you know your mom is struggling and how do you have this and and your clothes are clean your hair is combed you but the clothes but the clothes are six years old <laughs> you know it's just how you take care of your things <laughs> hello you don't have to have holy thing holy clothes to be struggling oh they live a hard knock life like you, no. you would never you would never know no you don't have never to know that. You don't have to do that. That's just insane. Ugh. Insane. We don't like it. I have fifty-seven dollars in my account right now. <laughs> and every week it fluctuates. <laughs> you never know. I've been called everything but a child of God. Well, that's sad that no one called you that. Exactly. <laughs> We're gonna get back to yeah. some more questions. We got a few more. Just check yourself, okay? And if you see me take my glasses off, it's because. I'm not gonna say I'm old, I'm mature, and... I guess she's getting comfortable with y'all because she's just talking away.